Hey lovelies! When it comes to holiday entertaining, as you know, my mantra is all about easy but impressive ideas. So over the last few weeks, I've been sharing some fun party platters that require almost no cooking at all. But today, I really think we have got the party platter of all party platters. It is a chocolate dessert board, and as far as I'm concerned, it is one of the most show-stopping things we have ever created here in the Domestic Eat Kitchen, and I am so excited to share it with you. And trust me, no one will be going home complaining. Now the real highlights of this board are going to be my homemade whipped cream and my chocolate fondue, which I'm going to add at the very, very end but I wanna make sure I leave room for them, so I'm just going to pop my two bowls down on the board ahead of time to make sure we build around them. Then I'm gonna get started by piling in the goodness. First up, I have these gorgeous mini chocolate croissants that I got at the bakery at my supermarket. If you can actually believe it, I got 20 of these guys for five bucks. I'm not gonna tell you how many we ate before this board ever got made. A few. <laughs> Then I really wanted to load on the cookies. You may not know this, but my husband is actually a bit of a cookie monster, so cookies are essential on a dessert board like this in my house. Instead of buying 10 different boxes of cookies, which would be kind of wasteful and super expensive, I went ahead and bought a single tin of chocolate cookies that came with a ton of great varieties, and that's actually what I'm using on this board. I've got some chocolate covered pretzels headed on here, as well as some chocolate biscotti. Of course, biscotti is amazing as dessert, especially if you're going to be serving coffee with this board, which I would highly recommend. And of course, it wouldn't be a chocolate board without a whole heaping helping of chocolate. When I was at the supermarket, I found a bunch of these enormous chocolate bars that were actually really inexpensive, and I just broke them up into pieces. I'm using a combination of dark chocolate, milk chocolate, some hazelnut chocolate, and then a couple pieces of white chocolate as well. I always use white chocolate a little sparingly because it is really, really sweet, so a little can go a long way. For even more chocolatey goodness, I've got some Christmas classics headed onto this board, like Toblerone and Ferrero Rocher. Then I'm adding one of my personal favorites, chocolate hazelnut cookie sticks. You can usually only find these around the holidays, at least at my supermarket. The best part is, in every tin of cookie sticks, there's always a couple broken ones. And those are excellent for snacking while you're cooking. And if your guests are in the mood for something really decadent, I also have a couple chocolate truffles that I'm going to nestle onto this board. They're seriously nothing richer. Because, as you guys already know, I am all about balance, I thought it was important to add a little fruit to this board, but I wanted to keep the colors really bright and festive, so I went with some strawberries, some pomegranate, and some cherries, which everyone loves, as well as some gorgeous figs, all of which look super gorgeous and seasonal, and I think really bring this board to life. Finally, to round out all the deliciousness here, I'm adding some handfuls of cashews and hazelnuts. I would always recommend getting these at a bulk food store where they're a little more affordable than they traditionally would be at your supermarket. And, of course, a couple handfuls of chocolate almonds for good measure. Because what this board clearly needed was more chocolate. Then, for a little balance, I wanna lighten things up a little bit with some rich, decadent whipped cream. <laughs> that at least has a lot of air in it, so it's almost like health food, right? It all starts with some whipping cream in a bowl. To that, I'm going to add a little bit of powdered sugar. And then the real secret is in the vanilla bean. If you can't find a vanilla bean, not to worry at all, go ahead and use a splash of vanilla extract instead, but I absolutely love the flavor of a vanilla bean. I mix that up with a hand mixer until it's nice and light and fluffy, and then I'm just going to pile it into my first bowl and top it with some strawberries. Then, for the real showstopper, the reason people come to my parties, I've got some chocolate fondue. Today I am using some gorgeous semi-sweet baker's chocolate just to keep things really simple, and I've chopped it up and I'm just going to get it into a double boiler on the stove. If you're not familiar with the concept of a double boiler, I've got about one inch of water simmering away over medium-low heat underneath, and then I've got a heat-safe bowl on top. The idea here is we wanna melt our gorgeous chocolate without scorching it. The other thing that makes fondue fondue is cream. The heavier the cream, the richer your fondue is going to be. We are going to gently heat this up until it is all melted and combined. Silky, smooth, perfection. Time to get this on the board. 
If you plan on leaving your board out for a few hours, you may want to use the heated fondue pot for this job. But since I don't think my guests are going to be able to resist this fondue for more than 30 minutes, I'm just going to leave it as is. Oh, fondue, we're so fond of you. I seriously can't think of a better way of showing your loved ones you care than with an incredible chocolate dessert board like this. So I hope you guys will give this one a try over the holidays and let me know what you think. As always, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo because I always love seeing your Christmas creations. The details of this yummy board, including my recipe for my chocolate fondue and my whipped cream are in the description box below so you can find them there. And finally, I wanna wish you and yours a very happy and safe holiday season. You guys mean the world to me and I'm so lucky to have you. And I really, really hope that your holiday season is restful, relaxing, and full of all sorts of deliciousness just like this.